Welcome to today's Daily Thought as we work our way through what could well be the most amazing sentence in the Bible. It's certainly the longest. In the original Greek, uh, Ephesians chapter 1 verses 3 to 14 uh, is one long sentence written by the Apostle Paul as he praises God for the blessings of salvation. And as we thought uh, yesterday, this is the triune God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit with their distinctive roles uh, praised by Paul, the Father choosing us, the Son redeeming us, the Spirit sealing those blessings uh, to our lives. And the opening verse, verse 3, praises the Father for blessing us, but he blesses us in Christ. And these are spiritual blessings, that is blessings that are brought to us by the Spirit. But before we leave verse 3, I want you to notice this reference in verse 3 to the heavenly places. We're told that the Father has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. That's a, a very significant phrase being used here. Paul's letter to the Ephesians is the only place where we find it in the New Testament and yet he uses it five times in this one letter. It's clearly of particular importance to the church in Ephesus. And the heavenly places refer to the unseen world of spiritual reality in contrast to the, the physical world of this earth. This world is not all that there is. There is a spiritual realm with unseen forces, both good and bad. And we know that much of the ancient world believed in this unseen world, uh, none more so than in Ephesus. In Acts chapter 19, uh, we read of the Apostle Paul successfully evangelising that city, uh, so much so that uh, a number of the converts come and they have this massive book-burning session as they destroy uh, the books that they they possessed on 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 magic, and the 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 occult uh, books were told that were worth up to fifty thousand pieces of silver. These were people who believed in a a cosmic struggle that was going on between the forces of good and evil, a constant battle being waged between unseen spiritual powers. And as Paul later writes this letter to them. Uh, this is still clearly an issue for the church. And so in chapter 6, verse 12, we read, We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. And there's that phrase again. Cosmic powers, rulers, authorities, spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. And so Paul recognises that there is a very real battle going on, but don't fear, because in chapter 1, verses 20 and 21, he speaks of the power where God raised Christ from the dead, and he seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. Christ sits at God's right hand in the heavenly places. And those of us who are in Christ, who believe in Christ, who are united to Christ, are seated with him there, as Paul says in chapter 2, verse 6, God has raised us up with him and seated us with him, where? In the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Chapter 3, verse 10, Paul says that the victory and the triumph of God is seen through the church so that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. And so, in other words, in the, the spiritual conflict of this unseen world populated as it is with spiritual powers and authorities in opposition to the, the things of God, the Christian need not fear. Christ reigns supreme in this sphere. He is seated high above every power and every authority. And we are seated there with him. This is our position 
in Christ. We are safe, secure, accepted and blessed. And as verse 3 says, we are indeed blessed with every spiritual blessing in these heavenly places. This is your position if you are in Christ as a believer. Rejoice in that.